In this video, we'll see how to build a line chart in Excel and behind that show a target range for the sales. And to show you how to build that, I'll delete this chart and we'll start from scratch. So here's the data. I've got six months listed down the side and there's no heading on that column. And in the next column is the quantity that was sold each month. Then I've got the top amount for the target and I put that in for each month and the low amount for the target range and again, enter that for each month. And in this final column, we have the target difference. So that's the gap between these two amounts. If I click on this cell, it's just a simple high minus low. We're going to create a chart, but not include this high column. So I'll select the first two columns, the headings and the data, and then press the control key so we can select another range on the sheet. And with that control key pressed, I'll select the low number for the target and then the difference. Now that I've got the data selected, I'm going to the insert tab on the ribbon. And in the charts, I'll click the column chart and then click the stacked column. And that creates a sample chart with a title. And we're going to fix this up so that we have a line and then our target range. First, we'll change this quantity series to a line. So I'll right click on one of the series points and click change series chart type. If you're doing this in Excel 2010, it will look a little bit different. Here in Excel 2013, we're looking for the quantity. Right now, everything is a stacked column. And for this one, we're going to change it to a line chart. And then I'll close this by clicking OK. So there's our line. The quantity is working well now but we have this low amount and we want to get rid of that. All we want to see is this target range, which is that 100 quantity gap between 250 and 350. Next, I'm going to change the T low series so that it's still there, but we can't see it. So I'll right click on one of the orange columns and click Format Data Series. I'll click on the paint can here. For the fill, I'll select No Fill. For the border, no line. And I'll close this. Series is still selected so we can see it. When I click away from it, it disappears. Next, we want to turn this into a solid block instead of separate columns. So I'll right click on one of these gray columns, Format Data Series, and under the Series Options, I'm going to change the gap width to zero. So now it all runs together. And for the fill, I could change it to a different color. So maybe I'd like a solid color that's a pale yellow. I'll close that. And for the border, I want no line and click close. And when I click away, we can see the pale yellow background, which is our target range, and the line that shows the quantity of sales each month. Next, I'll change this title. I want it to say monthly sales, so I'm going to link to that cell. I'll click on the chart title, click in the formula bar, type an equal sign, and click on cell A1 and press enter. So now it picks up whatever is in that cell. And for the legend at the bottom, I don't need it to show T low. So I'm going to click once to select the legend, then click on T low, press the delete key, and that disappears. So now the legend just shows the target range and the quantity. So that's a simple line chart with a block that shows the target range. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.